So, what I want to talk about a little bit is about Africa and the global crisis. Um, but when we talk about Africa and the global crisis, we are, we are facing a number of challenges. The first challenge is around which crisis should we be speaking about? Because a continent like Africa faces multiple deep and excruciating crises at a level that no other region in the world faces. So that's the first question I think we have to deal with. The second obvious challenge is Africa as a continent. Vast, diverse, complex, and to be able to give an overview of such a region itself is extremely challenging. Thirdly, as we've begun to hear today, understanding the historical significance, the nature and scope of this crisis, that too is extremely challenging. And then trying to draw out, at a fourth level, the impact of this global crisis for Africa. In other words, it means trying to extract, at a very schematic level, a number of generalizations, which is not too easy. And then lastly, most, difficult, most difficultly, and something which is extremely important for why we are here, is to try and have some perspective as to what is the way out of this crisis. So, I'm going to try and uh, talk to some of these challenges in an uneven way. Obviously, the time doesn't allow to go into great detail, but perhaps we'll come back to some of the issues I raise in um, discussion. I'm also going to read certain parts of the text so that I prepared, just so that I can keep the, the logic and the, and the trend that I'm uh, trying to present. Recently, when I traveled to Europe, and unlike South Africa, where there is an amplified silence of no discussion on the crisis, the European press and media is full of the crisis. But when walking the city streets of the centers of Europe, there would appear no crisis. What we see is the highest stage of consumption. No signs of unemployment, of poverty, no signs of the crisis. Yet we know it's there. It's just not amongst the people that you see. We know it's amongst the immigrants, the legal and the illegal that live there. And it's also not just amongst them and not just amongst the so-called differently colored uh, peoples that we know where we see the crisis in Europe. The paradox in South Africa, which is the most unequal country in the world, <coughs> the most industrialized and richest economy in Africa, and of course what I say applies on many, many folds to Africa, we experience the crisis in our everyday life um, all the time. The struggle to survive with 40% unemployment, 50% of the population living below the poverty line. The crisis of 25% of your population living with HIV AIDS. 25% of your population living with HIV AIDS. That's a crisis. For the vast majority, I mean 70 to 80% of the population, they have been living a social crisis for the past 16 years of post-apartheid and of course under apartheid a much longer period. So, for, so, so the challenge for us is when we talk to people 
in our country about a global crisis, when you talk to local communities, when you talk to um, workers, informal and in employed, it's not clear to them why you want to talk about something over there. The reality is this everyday crisis that we experience, and it's even more difficult, of course, to speak about the crisis amongst communities in Africa. Because when we're talking about Africa and crisis, we're talking about the crisis of underdevelopment. We're talking about the crisis of poverty. We're talking about the crisis of HIV AIDS, of malnutrition, healthcare, education, water, etc. These are the pressing problems. Now the challenge is to put this in some sort of frame that doesn't deny this reality, doesn't deny the reality that this is an outcome of a number of waves of processes linked to the colonial dispossession and the pattern of power that Annabelle was talking about earlier. So we could speak about, and I think it's important to outline so that we have a better understanding of the continent that we're talking about, some issues in terms of this crisis to understand the depth of it because we can't talk about the global crisis outside of this context the crisis of hiv aids where sub-saharan africa is more heavily affected than any other region of the world an estimated 22.4 million people are living with hiv in this region Around that represents about two thirds of the global population. In 2008, 1.4 million people died from AIDS in sub Saharan Africa, and 1.9 million people became infected with HIV AIDS. Since the epidemic began, 14 million children have been lost, one or both parents, to HIV. The fact that about 20% of Africa's children die before the age of five, 20% of Africa's children die before they reach five. The African infant mortality rate reached 107 a thousand in 1999 the comparison for Latin America was 32 32 in Latin America 107 in Africa life expectancy at birth in sub-saharan Africa now stands at 46 years 52 years for the entire African continent compared with 71 for Latin America. And of course, 43% of the continent's population are classified as undernourished. 